Welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Let's put a proper spare tire carrier on a trailer. If you've just got a U-boat and it's making an indentation in the tire, that's not good for it. Something like this would be a lot better. Let's take a look. Now that we've got the deck secured, I want to put a new tire carrier on. The old tire carrier caused the tire to be compressed against this angle iron, which is not good. I want a standard one, but it won't fit on this angle iron. So I got another piece. I'm going to weld it on here and make a box, and then that should fit on there very nicely. But before we weld it, we need to grind it so the edges are nice and clean on both this surface and this. And then once we weld it, we'll paint it and mount our um, tire carrier on that. Okay, we've got the grinder. It's important to have eye protection and hearing protection. Got a sanding disc on it. We're going to prepare the sides here. We'll also prepare this piece as well so it's nice and clean. We'll clamp it and sand it up. So we've clamped the new piece on and we'll clean it up a little with the grinder. When you grind, it's always nice to have the sparks fly away from you. Something like this. Okay. Let's start a little welding here. We're going to just tack it in a few spots and then continue our welding here. I'm an inexperienced welder, please don't uh, negatively comment. I, I'm a novice on this, but we'll get it to have a strong weld. Won't be pretty, but it'll be very functional. We'll grind it so it looks nice and smooth, then paint it. Okay, now we've welded it, now we're going to grind it. Ear protection, eye protection. So you can see I took that angle iron, welded it onto the trailer, ground it because I'm not a very good welder, made it smooth, painted it, and now it's ready for the tire carrier. The tire carrier goes on like this and it's got some nice plates that go on the back and a couple screw bolts. And then this is a three-hole configuration for either four lug or five lug. I have a five lug trailer or a tire for my axle. We're going to use that setup. This trailer mount is a max haul and it's a nice one because it's very adjustable and obviously these bolts are set so that you can have a much larger much uh, larger beam to, to lock onto but this seems like a really good height to me. So the bolts that came with it were these really long bolts. So I thought, no, nah. I went to my bolt box and got some shorter ones. These are 7 16 diameter bolts. 
their English bolts and that fits so much better and looks so much nicer so I chose to use these and I'll just throw these back in our bolt box for later use so 11 16 for the nuts 3 quarters for the bolt head this is strong solidly mounted now we'll put our now we'll put our two bolts in for the for the uh, trailer the tire the spare tire so these are the two offset bolts for the five hole tire we just have a four hole wheel or four bolt axle you'd be like this this is for the five hole five bolt axle five opening wheel okay we'll just spin these on Those are nice and tight. Now we've got a nice spare tire carrier on our trailer. This spare tire carrier holds this out of the way, which is nice. Doesn't really add any width to the trailer because the tires are on the outside of the bed. And there's no indentation in the, in the, uh, in the trailer. I've got the stem on the outside, easy to inflate. And I don't think it'll interfere with the turning radius of the, of the uh, trailer. So that was a nice addition to the uh, trailer rebuild. So thank you for watching. Again, this is Adventures with Dr. Joe. This is a nice way to uh, store a tire on your trailer. Much better than that large U-bolt which causes an indentation and injury to the tire itself. And this keeps it out of the way, makes it easy to inflate, and overall it's a much better deal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please click like if, if it's been helpful. And I love comments. As always, please stay safe.